I always choose the blue. A lot of blue. A lot of blue. A lot of blue. Um, a lot of um, a lot of earth tones. A lot of fall colors. But a lot of blue. A lot of blue. My name is Charles William Edward William um, Jinger. Um, my artist's name is Facial Charles Facial or Facial Charles. Um, do I consider myself homeless? Um, no, only because, you know, I live here on Earth. Earth is my home. I'm just without a house. Um, I'm without four walls to hold me in the, the living quarters, but I live here on Earth, so Earth is my home. It's, it's a sad situation, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of really smart people who are homeless. You know, the most common cases we're all used to is like the drug and alcohol cases, but you know, out of it all, it's really a lot of, you know, mental, mental disorders and people who need to grow and be understood. And that's pretty much my problem is, you know, having to grow and be understood, you know, for, for who you are. I've been through a lot, you know, growing up, you know, and I was pretty much hurt by the person who's supposed to love me the most. And I know my mother would always tell me, you, you were always sick, but I was always, you know, by myself and I was always had imaginary friends, you know, and, you know, and coming from a family who didn't have, you know, the means to give me help or the means to, you know, have me checked out as a psychiatrist, it just, it was just me, you know, singing to myself or talking to whoever. And then I started experimenting with drugs and it got to a point where it opened up those old doors. But having to follow those things and work and, and live that normal life, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't work unless you can... I didn't have a psychologist I could talk to. I mean, I, had, I was working at a job over here and then I ended up losing the job and I was just, you know, I was like, okay, well, I can be the person that I want to be. I can start dressing the way I want to and just carry a bag around, but I can't. My person won't allow me to do that. It will, it just, it just, you know, the, there's like, it can get worse. I said, well, for me, it's either going to be death or just, or being like, just, it can't, it, it just can't happen for me. The Stewpot Art Program is a part of the Stewpot, which is a day shelter and a service organization for homeless and at-risk people in the downtown Dallas area. Our art program is for people that uh, would love to create, but they don't have the materials that they need or the space that they that they need. Um, so our the program provides materials and supplies so that everybody can come in and have a space to uh, work. Most of the people that we see, when I first see them, they are homeless. Usually when I first see them, they're very stressed uh, when they're able to just come in and start focusing on colors and shape relationships and uh, just the therapeutic aspects of, of doing artwork. It gives them um, a community. First of all, the community that they build within the art program with the other artists that are here. And then the community uh, aspect of uh, the volunteers that come and work with everybody and the staff. And then there's the people that uh, come to the shows and uh, come up here to see their artwork. And it also gives them uh, the, uh, the satisfaction of being able to uh, make something. I've been coming here to paint for about 10 years now, on and off 10 years. Every time where I would leave because I have to have, you know, you have to have your rest. <laughs> You have to have your rest, and you know it's it's been it's been a road. A lot of people think this is my thing, but for me, it's it's not my actual my first love. I had to grow to love it. Each time I create something, I said, "Okay, I can I can do I can pretty much do this." When I first sold my first work, um, it was really exciting. I sold it for a hundred bucks. That was the most exciting, most exciting thing ever. I was like, oh, I sold a painting. Oh, I sold a painting. Now is the lesson I'm learning now is, you know, I wish I would have learned when I was younger. It's pretty much 
if you want to get good at something, you have to continually you have to keep at it because it just doesn't go overnight. Charles William is a very unique, very, very talented person. He is a really naturally born artist. He's an individual that's able to um, look at other people and be able to really kind of connect with that person and then take that and relate that to uh, the portraiture that he does. I, I, I consider myself an artist. Um, yeah, everything, that's pretty much my life. I want, you know, people to feel something. I don't, I don't want to feel it. I can feel something if I look at somebody else's work. I can get it that way, but for my own work, I just look at it and yes or, or no. It's just I'm just letting my hand just do the work. And you have a joy in it, which there is a joy in like, oh, okay. And there's a joy in people being interested in looking at it. There's a joy in um, being able to, to do something. It feels accomplished. It feels, oh, I finally got, got something done. I think he's re it's really helped him find um, part of himself that he would only really find through, through his artistic ability, through creating art. Um, he's able to, he's, he's found a part of himself that's so integral to who he truly is. Uh, that it, uh, it's beautiful, it's been beautiful to see that grow and it's beautiful to see that expand and it's given him um, a real voice and uh, he knows who he is artistically. I could paint forever, I really can. It's just, I mean, you, I've, I, mean I can never lose inspiration, just find inspiration anywhere. I mean, I'm still trying to perfect with the style or whatever styles I'm doing at that moment. I mean, that's the fun thing of painting is experimenting. And sometimes I, I just think I'm still experimenting with colors. Those are my paintings, yeah, paint for me. They're like kids, they're like my children. I find this, you know, I find a stew pot and I find the art program and then I realize, I said, okay, you know, things are starting to make sense. Um, if you quit this, it keeps, I, I'll get up in that apartment, but then I won't paint and I just end up coming right back. I was like, you just stay here and just do this because this is your, this is your destiny. This is where you're supposed to be. This place means a lot to me. Um, the stew pot means a lot to me. Um, I, it's, it means a lot to me. I mean, I never thought it would come to this, but, um, it means a lot because I mean it's made me, helped me become myself. Um, it's helped me find my find Charles. 